Welcome back guys to another West Ham transfer news video. Sorry for no upload over the past week. There hasn't really been any news and if there was any news, a lot of it was quite negative and I don't want to bring that to the channel. So make sure you subscribe if you support West Ham and you want to see more West Ham related content, more West Ham transfer news content and just general West Ham fan West Ham content as we move into the first game of the season against Newcastle at home on the 12th. But we've got a couple of news stories that I want to give my opinion on. And as always, guys, make sure you give your opinion in the comment section down below. So now, a report that I've seen going over Twitter, especially last night, is that West Ham wants German international Mario Gotze. Now, guys, all the topics that I'm going to be talking about in this video are only rumours. We know that XWHU employee is the one that sort of confirms or denies whether these stories are actually true. However, I just like giving my opinion if they were going to happen. So these are only rumours. So West Ham want German international midfielder Mario Gotze. According to Express, West Ham are keen on bringing German international midfielder Mario Gotze to the London Stadium this summer. The 28 rock 28-year-old is a free agent after leaving Borussia Dortmund at the end of last season, and he is a wanted man across Europe, with AS Monaco and AS Roma also keen. Hammers boss uh, David Moyes wants to strengthen his options in the attacking third after his side managed to only score 49 goals last term, and he appears to, to be ready to take a punt on the World Cup winner. Right, now, what do I think of this transfer if this was going to happen again? It's only rumours. Now, there's no denying Mario Gotze's talent. Someone who scored the the World Cup winning goal against Argentina for Germany. I think it was the 2006 World Cup, or it might have been 2010, probably 2010. However, he scored a winning goal in a World Cup final. That that says something in itself. And he's played for Bayern Munich. He has played twice at Borussia Dortmund. So this guy has got quality. However, again, it's his injury... It's his injuries over the past few years that sort of bring concern to this transfer. He, I know he really suffered like a really bad like bowel problem. So something to do with his eating, his digestion wasn't good. So he was out for a kind of, kind of a long time. However, this got, this is another player that if we were to sign, who's going to be in huge wages, they said something down late, a little bit later in the article, he's earning around about £187,000 per week at Borussia Dortmund until a few weeks ago, of course, and we'll be looking to make something similar at the club. West Ham have also been left to rue handling former Arsenal star Jack Wilshere at 100 cal week. And this is something I was going to touch upon. It's another signing. Yes, he would be quality. Jack Wilshere's got undeniable quality if he remains fit. However, we're going to be investing a lot of money into someone who may only be paying 20 to 15 games a season. If Mario Gotsu was fit and could guarantee you 30 games a season, I would take a punt at 100 cal week or 120 cal week. However, He's not going to do that. Judging by his previous injury record, it looks like he probably only played 15 to 20 games. He never really played last year at Borussia Dortmund. He was always mainly sub because of the quality that Borussia Dortmund have behind the striker because that's where he plays. He does also like to play as a false number nine. But we don't have the quality. We're not that kind of team that all sort of asks for a false number nine, which drops into the midfield, plays it out left, plays it out, out right. We've got more of a target man. And then we've got sort of, you know, attacking midfielders like try and feed off that attacking, that that target man. So do I think that uh, Mario Gotso would be a good signing? He's got very good quality. If he was fit and he could get you 30 games a season, I'd say go for it. But because of his, you know, injury record and the position that West Ham are in, we don't want to be sort of bring in another player who's going to be on 100k a week. Now, I saw something again. It was, again, via the Express. Um, and it is Napoli have made a bid for West Ham attacking midfielder Pablo Fornals, according to the Express. Right. It's been reported that West Ham currently weighing up the offer from the Italian club for the Spain International. Fornals joined West Ham from Spanish club Villarreal in the summer of 2019 for a transfer fee reported to be around about £24 million by the BBC. According to who scored, the attacking midfielder has made 24 starts and 12 substitute appearances in the Premier League for the Hammers last season, scoring two goals and providing five assists in the process. The 24-year-old has made one start and one substitute appearance in the FA Cup for the London club, scoring one goal in the process and he scored one goal in the two EFL Cup ties, according to who scored. Now, apparently... This, again, whether it's true or not, we don't know. It's probably just gospel. It's just a, a transfer rumour. £24 million. Pounds, we would be recouping our money if we was going to sell him. Now, where do I sit on this? Do not sell him. Firstly, obviously, we want to try and sell Anderson. We want to try and sell Lanzini before we start selling players such as Four Nails. Now, would I sell Four Nails if a very good offer come in? 
yes. And for me, a very good offer would mean we would have to make a substantial pro profit. So for me, it would be around about 35 to 40 million pounds. So we'd have to make around about a, 15, a 10 to 15 million pounds for me to even consider selling. And the reason why is, firstly, we've got to take into his age. He's only 23, 24 years of age. So yes, he's, yes we would recoup you know, 24 million pounds. But all it takes is one very good season from four hours where he gets... 10, goal, 10 goals and 10 assists or 8 goals and 10, 10 assists, whatever the sort of the, the goal contributions is, then we'd be able to make a substantial profit. If you remember rightly, after Felipe Anderson's first season at West Ham, there was rumours going around that he might be going to Real Madrid or bigger clubs were looking at him for 50, 60 million. He's had one bad season. Now we're looking at selling him for 25. I know, obviously, the climate we're in, you know, prices are probably tanked. However, a lot of that transfer valuation of Felipe Anderson is based on his recent performances. So for me, he sort of fits the philosophy that David Moyes is trying to instill at West Ham. Firstly, hard work, and you've got to work hard off the ball if you want to be playing in a David Moyes team. He fits that nicely. He's he's left he's been playing left mid for David Moyes. For me, he is a more of a central attacking midfielder. And I think going into the Newcastle game, we may see four nails take a central position. However, I don't think we should sell him. I think we should keep him because we've got age, you know, age is on his side. If he has one or two good seasons for West Ham, we may be able to sell him on for 40, 50, 60 million pounds. Again, that that's all ifs and buts. Okay. But apparently Napoli have come in with a 24 million pound offer. I would say no, no, thank you. We do not want to sell him. He's an important player of our squad. However, again, if he has if an offer coming at 40 million, 45 million, then I would possibly accept it because we don't really want to sacrifice Declan Rice. And at the moment, it's looking increasingly worrying, worrying that we may have to sell Declan Rice to fund any kind of transfers. Now, let's go into the last topic, last report today. Touching about Declan Rice, according to the Hammers News website, I think that obviously they've got this from somewhere else, but West Ham have been offered the chance to sign Tammy Abraham. Now, I can't, couldn't find the article, but from what I read on Twitter is that Chelsea were looking to offer money plus Tammy Abraham on a loan for Declan Rice. Now, where do I sit on this? At the moment, it, as each day goes by, it's just looking more and more likely that Declan Rice will be leaving West Ham. Like, that's just the message I'm sort of getting from the club. You know, even X is sort of hinting, not sort of saying that he's going to be leaving, but, you know, Chelsea are very keen on him. They're trying to shift players Frank Lampard, Frank Lampard clearly wants him, sees him as a CDM that can also play as a centre-back, sees him probably as a long-term successor to Kante. And at the end of the day, the way I'm sitting is, if we are going to sell Declan Rice, I do not want to sell Declan Rice. Let's just make this clear. If I had the option, I do not want to sell Declan Rice. He's our best player at this football club. We need to keep hold of our best assets. But if we was going to consider selling Declan Rice or going to sell Declan Rice, Get it soon. Get it done sooner rather than later. Because, you know, we're approaching the first game of the season. We do not want Declan Rice to be sold on the 4th of October, a day before the transfer deadline. And then suddenly we've got 80 million or 65 million plus a player. And then we've got to sort of go scrounging out. If you're going to sell it, if you're going to decide to sell him, get your targets in place right now. Get your targets in place. Then when you sell him or before you know you're about to sell him, sign those replacements or sign the players that you want to want with the money that you're going to get from Declan Rice. However, it, it was said basically that Tommy Abraham has been offered to David Moyes. Where do I sit on this? I would 100% sign him. If he was going to sell Declan Rice, I would want 60 to 65 million pounds plus Tammy Abraham on a permanent, not a loan deal. Why should we, as a football club, take money and then someone else's asset to try and develop them, give them game time, to then give them back, possibly as a better player? No. I want Tammy Abraham on a permanent. He's West Ham's player. We can then sort of build a formation or maybe some link-up, you know, a formation based around Hala and Abraham or Abraham and Antonio give them the foundation so that we can sort of work with them for the next three to four years. We do not want to just have Tammy Abraham on loan and then give him back to Chelsea. Here you go. He scored 15 goals for us, which would probably be a very decent return if he was to ever come to West Ham on any kind of deal. And then, yeah, here you go, Chelsea. Thank you, you know, for Tammy Abraham for a season. He's a bit, a bit of a better player now. You know, he may now push for starting 11 
you know, at Chelsea. So that is where I sell. So guys, that is going to be end of the video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these sort of articles. These are only you know rumors they're not of facts or anything like that. i'll just give my opinion on them of course i want you guys to give your opinion on them as well and guys we're close to 500 subscribers 35 away new content will be coming out over the next couple of days as soon as we get closer to that premier league season a uh, 10 days or 11 days time against newcastle united at home make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the like button i'll catch you later